Hey guys, so today I'm excited and very honored to be partnering with GlassesUSA.com. If you're not familiar with Glasses USA, they are an online retailer of glasses and sunglasses, both prescription and non-prescription. And by cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com can offer prescription glasses at up to 70% off retail prices. GlassesUSA.com offers over 4,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses, including their own in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E, which if you aren't familiar with Hilary Duff, she actually just did a collaboration with them. If you're around my age, you would know who she is. And they also offer designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Armani, Gucci, and a ton more. You can also find specialty glasses like sports glasses, safety glasses, and kids glasses. They also can add prescription to almost any pair of frames, including sunglasses, which is really awesome. And their price points are amazing. Frames and lenses start at only $30. Free basic prescription lenses are included with every frame, so the price that you see on the website is the price that you're gonna get. And right now they have a special offer for all of you who are ordering your first pair when signing up at glassesusa.com. You can check below this video in the description box to see details about that and where to go. And yeah, they're just all around a great website to look for your glasses or your sunglass needs. Now if you're like me and you have a face that kind of is hard to find glasses that look good, I struggled with this since I was in third grade. Not only does Glasses USA have a virtual mirror online so you can try on different frames and see what they would look like by uploading one of your pictures. But they also offer risk-free shopping, which means you have a 100% money back guarantee. So if for any reason your glasses do not work for you, you have free shipping to you and also free shipping for return. Now those are very important things for me as a person who likes to shop online, but also like I said, has a I will I will call my face a weird shape, my husband wouldn't, but I know my face. I know how difficult it is to find frames to fit my face and what they look like on my face and what's comfortable on my face. So having the virtual mirror and being able to see myself in these frames first and then also knowing in, in the back of my head that if I buy something and it doesn't work out, I can send it back and get my money back is just amazing. And it's one of the things that I look for first in a company when I shop online with them. Now with talking with GlassesUSA.com and kind of thinking about what kind of content I wanted to bring you guys for this video, I kind of debated whether or not to do a fun styling video or a makeup video, but I've seen tons of those online already. And honestly, when I look to see a review on things like a glasses company, all I really care about is what do the glasses look like so I can see if those are glasses that I would be interested in. What kind of offers does that video offer me as in a special offer, again, listed underneath this video in the description box. And basically a full review of how the website works and how the product is. I don't really care about all that other stuff to be completely honest with you. I just want to know about the glasses. So let's get right into the selection of glasses that I chose for today's video. Everything was shipped really, really nicely in these boxes right here. There's one right here that four pairs were sent in and then there's another smaller box right here that one pair was sent in. They also send your prescription card. So I have mine right here. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it has my full name on it. So starting off, we'll start with the prescription eyeglasses that I chose. I chose three different pairs of eyeglasses and then I have two pairs of sunglasses to show you guys. So my first pair of favorites, which actually I'm gonna clean real quick. They do send a nice little package lens cleaning cloth and every single pair of glasses, which is really nice. Also, the hard cases are also very nice. Like they're sturdy, they're gonna protect your glasses if you throw them in your purse or book bag like I do. So I'm gonna make sure to leave all of the names of the glasses right here. And then also I will have direct links to all the glasses underneath this video in the description box. So make sure to check that out. But these are my first favorite pair of glasses. And I got these because I wanted something a little bit more relaxed. I wanted something comfortable and kind of nerdy to be completely honest with you just to wear with like sweatshirts or like I don't know my athletic wear you know I just wanted something just very laid back so these are my first favorites and this is why I don't wear glasses when I film because no matter how anti-glare glasses are you'll still see a reflection they have blue like an electric royal blue which you guys know last spring this was like my favorite color uh, they have an electric blue arm on each side and then they have a black face to them so I love these glasses so very much. They are similar in regards to like a Wayfair sunglasses, which you guys know is one of my favorite style sunglasses that fit my face really nicely. They are super lightweight, they are super comfortable. You guys have seen me in a few of my day in the lifes with them and you've commented that you've liked them without me with makeup. They look great with my hair up. That's another thing is I took a picture on the virtual mirror thing with my hair up and down so I could see what they look like both ways. And they're just really cute. I love the little pop of color they're just, they're cute, they're comfortable, and they have a huge lens, which I love. 
I am somebody who does not have a nose bridge because I am Asian, it just kind of falls flat. And then because I'm Asian, I also have very high cheekbones. So because of those two things, glasses tend to slide down my face and then also when I move my face, they tend to go up and down. So by having a huge lens like this, it ensures that if my glasses start falling downward or if my cheeks move them up, I still have my full vision in my lens. So these are the first pair, and again, these are my favorite out of all of them. These were in the men's section, and I think they're very well built. Even though they kind of look like those sunglasses that you would get for like, I don't know, a couple bucks at Forever 21, the hinges, I don't know if you can hear that, the hinges are so well made, they're so high quality, and just like the feeling of them is this really nice soft like matte rubber. I don't know how to explain it, but they are just the best. My next favorite after those are very simple, just plastic framed glasses. These I believe are the Barbaras. And these are just a fun, really just comfortable, classic, I feel like big lensed glasses. They're in a very nice light brown tortoise shell color that I thought would really complement my hair. And again, I need something with a big lens. I would love to try to pull off those little tiny lenses, but they make me look really super like tired for some reason. But they also, again, when they start sliding down or get pushed up by my cheeks, I can't see through them, I just see frames. So I need these big lenses, they complement my face the most. So these are huge, so I wouldn't suggest them for anybody who's got a tiny face, they might overwhelm them. Like when my daughter put them on, who she's taller than me and bigger than me at this point, uh, they overwhelmed her face. But for me, they, I think, complement my face quite nicely and they have that cute, like, dorky librarian, super big kind of hipster look. So I really like these a lot. I love, again, that I can see just all around. I don't see frame in my way necessarily and they're really really cute and comfortable and all of that so I really like these and again these are super lightweight that's really important for me is super lightweight frames because if they're too heavy they will fall down on my face guaranteed especially the ones that don't have any feet on them. The last pair of prescription glasses I got are called the Elliot's. These are glasses that I've been searching for everywhere. You can ask my husband. I've been either looking for them in glasses form or sunglasses form. Every single time I see that this type of glasses, I will try them on and they never look right until now. So these are the Elliot's and they are so cute. So I've always wanted a brow line type glasses where there's a nice thick like color frame here and then like a gold or silver frame at the bottom. I've always wanted a pair of these. I see people with them all the time and I think they just look so cute, but I've never been able to find a pair that complements my face, whether they're sunglasses or regular glasses. Now these I think complement at my face rather nicely in my opinion uh, because they are deeper down here. All the ones I've ever tried are a lot more narrow and then also a lot shorter so they're smaller and they just look funny on my face but these I feel like I can actually pull off. They're very comfortable. I actually prefer them fit wise more than the other ones because they do have those feet around the nose so they stay up a little bit better on my face. I like the other ones better just because I think in regards to just like everyday wear, they're more um, universal, if that makes sense. Like I can wear them more. I feel like these are a very specific look, but I do still really like these glasses and I'm super happy that I found them because I've been, I've been wanting so badly to find glasses and sunglasses like this that would fit my face and finally, I did. So these are the Elliot frames. If you're like me and you've always wanted a brow line type glasses, but they've never looked flattering because your face is too big like mine, these would work for you very, very well. So I like them. All right, so moving on to sunglasses, they did allow me to choose two different sunglasses. I have one designer and then one just part of their collection, I believe. So these sunglasses are out of my comfort. I just, I don't know, they're out of my comfort zone. But as you guys know, especially with sunglasses, I've been like going outside of the box and have found a lot that look really nice on me that I think are a lot of fun. So these are prescription as well, which I'm super again psyched about because it makes driving into the sun a lot easier. I could technically pass a driver's test and I can technically see really fine without glasses. Things just are more defined and a little bit less blurry with glasses So um, I don't need to wear them all the time, but it helps especially when I'm editing videos But or seeing street signs, you know things like that, but these are the sunglasses and they are so cute <laughs> So 
These are the most comfortable sunglasses I've ever put on my face. I'm talking about any any pairs of sunglasses I've ever owned. You guys know I have a pair that's like $400 that I got from a PR box. These are like a thousand times more comfortable than that. And I would say just as well made. So these are awesome because not only do they have feet by on the nose bridge so they stay up, but they are also far enough away from my cheeks that when I smile they don't hit and I don't raise them at all. And they're just super super cute. Like, I just love them. I love them so much. When I first saw them in person, I was like, ooh, what did I get myself into? But they are... I love them. I also love how dark they are. I feel like sunglasses aren't necessarily made dark enough. I don't like people seeing my eyes when I have sunglasses on. I feel like a lot of times when I put sunglasses on is because I don't want you to see what I may looking at or what I'm thinking. So I like to hide my eyes, especially when I'm really tired, but also when I don't want to talk to people out in public. So these are great sunglasses for that because they let nothing in. As you can see, you can see reflection, but you can't see what's in here. I love these sunglasses so much. I would highly suggest them to anybody like me who has a flat face, high cheekbones, um, you know, that kind of thing, because these are really, really comfortable and they stay in place. So I love these sunglasses. They also look really good on my husband, which is nice, although these are prescriptions, so I don't see why he would wear them. But it's nice because I can say that they would look really nice on men too, because I believe these are men's sunglasses or they're unisex. I don't know. You know what? I don't like to put names on things. These are just sunglasses and they're super comfy and I'm excited because they are prescriptions. So love these. Last but not least, like I said, I did get a designer pair of sunglasses, and of course I had to. I got a pair of Ray-Bans, and I only got a pair of Ray-Bans because you guys know I've always loved aviators, but I've never had like a name brand aviator. Uh, a, because I wasn't really great with my sunglasses in the past. I kind of just threw them and they would break, and then I'd buy another $5 pair, but... Now that I am an adult and I actually take care of my things, I deserve to have nice things. So I love these Ray-Bans so much. They come in a Ray-Ban case and then they also have all of these in here, just the information about the Ray-Ban and also a nice cleaning cloth as well. And then inside they have the sunglasses. I used to, back in the day, like I said, when I would buy my cheapy, cheapy aviators, I would think, what's the difference between those and Ray-Bans? I mean, come on, why are people paying the extra money for just the name? Now that I actually have a pair in my hand, and I've done this a lot with things, as you guys know, as I've grown and, you know, kept an open mind, holding these in my hands, I will say there's a huge difference between those $5 $2 sunglasses I used to buy. These are so much better quality. The hinges are nicer, the metal itself is a lot sturdier, less bendable, and the weight of them is a lot nicer, and the quality just looking at them is a lot nicer. So there is a difference for your price. These will definitely last longer for you, and they're actually nicer looking in person. So like I said, I got the aviators and this is what they look like on my face. I picked out a wider frame. These I believe are like the 50 something. There's a smaller one. The smaller one I used, I tried on at a store once and they looked horrible on me. Again, they were too tiny and they kind of like sag down here a little bit weird. Uh, these I think are a lot more flattering on my face. They're a bigger frame like I said. I'm a little bit sad because they do look better on my husband than on me, which is fine, whatever. These are not prescriptions, so he could wear them if he needed to, which is nice, but I'm not gonna trust him because he's not good to his nice things. But these are just really, really, really comfortable as well. If I'm being 100% honest though, I actually like the other ones better uh, than these. I think that the other ones look better on me and they're a little bit more, like I don't fidget with them as much as I do these, but I do love these. Like these are just, I mean, they're classic Ray-Ban aviators. I also love that they're so dark. Love that. Again, y'all don't need to know what's going on in here. So now that you've seen all the glasses, what do you guys think? Let me know which ones are your favorites below. Like I said, I will leave every single pair directly linked underneath this video along with a special offer on your first pair if you choose to get them. I would highly suggest using this company. The lenses were really, really nice. The frames were really, really nice. The quality, everything. Um, you guys know I own pairs of glasses from other places as well and these are right up there with them if not higher quality. So there you have it. There is my review of GlassesUSA.com. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this. If you want to see more glasses hauls or videos like that let me know leave comment below if you're gonna go pick up a pair yourself i'd love to know and if you want to see more videos make sure to subscribe i tend to upload every two to three times a week i try to and it's free for you to do and i always appreciate it 
And I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much Glasses USA for not only sending these awesome glasses, I mean, I think I'm set. I mean, if you wanna work together again, let me know. But I just really appreciate working with great companies like you. And again, thank you to you guys because none of this would be possible without you. And you guys know that my channel would be nothing without you and I really appreciate it. So I will talk to you guys all in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.